her right, I'm ready for whatever Nigga, check my resume, I ain't never told Not today or yesterday, keep it so 100 Put that on my SK, DPB, I'm blocking it And the nigga get in my way, gon' get it I ain't scared to die, but I ain't going alone I'm trying to live right, from doing dead wrong Boy, I'm ready for whatever Yeah, nigga, I'm ready for whatever uh, Alright, I'm ready for whatever Couple niggas gon' ride Never trust these bitches, boy, that's a suicide And I learned it at a y- What up, YouTube? This your boy down low back with another requested reply And today's requested reply is to that Tommy Banks Automatic Tommy And you know what? Skill-wise, you are decent, man But yet, you're making a lot of core mistakes in the game that you really should not be doing Like, you listen to this mixtape, man Eight out of the 13 tracks on here are widely known instrumentals Honestly, you never want to use instrumentals unless it's for two fucking reasons. One is to practice and grow your skill to where you need to be. Or two, you're completely demolishing them bitches. In which skill level, you're not on either one of those planes. Honestly, you are too skilled to be using instrumentals, man, to build up your skills because you already got them. It's your time to go ahead and get your own unique music, your own unique producer, create your own unique sound, and put out your own shit. But yet, you are not good enough to take these instrumentals and flip them to the point that people will only remember you when they hear that shit. Because let's keep it all the way real. Whenever you hear any of these instrumentals that you're rapping on, due to the fact that you are not flipping it the way you need to fucking flip it, people are going to remember the originator of the track. And that's something you never fucking want. Whenever anybody listens to your music, you want them to remember you. Pretty much by recording on every beat that everyone else is fucking recording on, you fit in instead of staying out which is another fucking mistake there's no profit there's no fame there is nothing if you're going to just try to fit in i will tell you like this though man you do have some damn good punchlines here in this like your lyrics are pretty decent but you have a long ways to go with that man there are a bunch of different areas that you need to work on that will increase the potency of these punchlines as well like you need to work on your metaphors your wordplay and your vocab man in which these together can help your punchlines get way fucking better. A metaphor is when you use something that you're not even fucking rapping about, but you use that to explain what the fuck you're rapping about. And I write articles that are metaphors like all of the time, man. Like recently I wrote one talking about how if you're going to have a rap crew, your rap crew has to be like the fucking Power Rangers. And I went through to explain that you have to have teamwork and people have to do the dirty work. Like someone has to operate the legs of the fucking Megazord in order for the Megazord to fucking win. You need to incorporate that kind of shit into your rhymes. An example of wordplay is when you start using words over and over, but yet every time you use them, they mean something different. Now here's a basic example of this shit. An independent rapper once said, look, if you try me, I'ma be slapping on your bitch ass. And later on tonight, I'ma be slapping on your bitch ass. Notice he said the same phrase, but yet it meant something different both times. And vocab, that shit is obvious, man. You could go the straight up Eminem route and just read the fucking dictionary and expand your vocab and start using that shit in all of your rhymes. In which you need to be on a regiment, man, if you're going to build up your lyrics as well. Like, you should be writing at least a song a day. And I wouldn't be telling you if I didn't do that shit myself. And I don't even rap like that no more. The next thing is you need to definitely master your flow while you're fucking at it. Because there are moments where your lyrics, they get in the way of your flow. Pretty much you value your punchlines over your flow, man, in which that's a big mistake. Because they are equally as important, man. See, your flow and punchlines have to go hand in hand for the desired results, my dude. And a, great, and a great way to go about that, man, is to understand that your fan base ain't stupid. People are going to figure out your punchlines if they want to figure them bitches out. So Therefore, you don't have to say every fucking syllable, man. People will understand if you slang it, if you use the bare minimum of syllables, people gonna get that shit. Now, of the songs that were not instrumental based, man, you were pretty damn good. You showed out, man. That Bars 2 was good. That Young and Restless was good. And that Ready for Whatever is good, man. You definitely showed that you can make a full good project, man, if you put in the time and get that damn production, man. I definitely recommend you to go ahead and find you a producer on 
gonna lie. Because these days, man, producers are giving away beats for damn near free. Because people just want to be a part of something or just start getting their career jumping. And the best way I recommend you to go ahead and find you a producer, man, is to go to that pit, man, and search instrumentals or producer tapes or whatever the hell. And a bunch of fucking tapes are going to just pop up and go through them all one by one until you find dudes that you really fuck with that you can reach on Twitter and they will work with you on damn prices because you honestly do want to pay for production too so you don't owe anybody a damn thing but definitely keep pushing man the next mixtape I definitely expect progression from you my dude and everybody go ahead and peep them out man the link to his mixtape is in the description I'm just trying to get some head